it's uh, November 7th, something like that. Uh, I'm in the black water, hunting seek a deer. As usual, I got lost coming back here. This place is getting tough, man. I can't find my way no more. I think I turned in too soon. But, uh, I followed my GPS here and it took me a while, but I swear it took me twice as long in the woods. It's 28 degrees this morning. <clears throat> I dress warm. I'm hot, man. I'm, I'm so hot. I got down, got here down at the bottom of the train, just took all my clothes off to cool down and got rid of the wet ones. But, uh, it's 28, probably 30 degrees now. It's gonna get up to the 60s, so <laughs> it's gonna be hot. Uh, it's the rut right now, and uh, I should, you can call me nuts for being down here in the rut, I'm not whitetail hunting. But uh, I did get me a nice. Pretty decent eight point Monday. So, uh, I'm hunting seek a deer. And out at the truck, I heard, I heard one bugle. I think somebody else called. I've heard several bugles coming back here since. And, uh, and I was, when I was stomping through the water coming over here, one bugle right there, and it was loud. So, that was about 20 minutes ago. I'm gonna shut up here and try to cool down and uh, see what I see. He be outdoors. Hunting seeking deer in the black water. Howdy. It's uh, it's about ten o'clock. I've got I've had two or three stags over here messing around for the last two hours. But I'm just getting glimpses of them. One of them. One of them got about 30, 35 yards from me. Uh, I almost shot. I've, I've heard them fighting. I can hear weird noises. There's two, uh, two tall four points and a real little spike. I had three hinds walk past earlier and then they uh, a real little spike fall. And then I've been hearing all this ruckus. Uh, and it's, I'm really having a hard time getting any video of it because they're kind of, um, right here's a tree. <laughs> Camera's on my right side. And I'm walking back here about like eight o'clock. It's kind of a tough angle.
This is my second, second hind, my third seek all together I shot a and I wanted to stay camped out of here for the rest of the day and see what happens. I wish those things would come in a little closer. If I'd get a chance I might shoot one of those tall four points. They just disappear, man. You see them, and then they disappear because all this stuff is all grown up. And they're so daggone short. <laughs> Been a good day, though. Been a good day so far. Can't complain. did it. <laughs> I'm going to be back here for a while tonight. Uh, I don't know if he dropped. Oh boy. I done did it now. This could be a long night back in the marsh. I think I need to replay this. <laughs> oh boy, the sun's down, it gets going down. I, I got about 45 minutes of light left. We'll see. After that, I uh, reviewed the video on the camera and saw that I put a good shot on it. Uh, I climbed down a tree right away, went over, found my arrow, it was a pass-through, uh, saw good blood all over the place, so I started tracking. And uh, it only went about 50 yards. <clears throat> I was worried about getting it out of there in the dark because uh, it's a tough walk back in that marsh. So. Uh, Got back to my tree with the deer, got all packed up, ready to go, and uh, started dragging it out while I had a little bit of light left. I uh, wanted to get about half ways, 
when I get about half ways out where uh, I can find my bright eyes. And uh, it wouldn't have been so bad of a walk. But uh, I didn't even gut it. <laughs> I didn't even gut it. Because <clears throat> uh, all that marshmallow water, I didn't want the, I, I didn't want all that water, that stinky water getting up inside it, up inside the cavity. <clears throat> so I didn't even gut it. 70 pounds, uh, 70 pounds field dress, so whatever it weighed uh, on the hoof, that was extra weight. But uh, I just wanted to get it out of there. <clears throat> so I got out, got back to my truck, and uh, it was a long night, but it was well worth it. These little things are uh, pretty unique and good eating. It tastes like elk. <clears throat> this is, uh, I don't really know, but I'm saying this thing's probably about seven years old, I'll bet. Uh, 11 inch times, 10 inch time. It's a good one, it's a nice one. They get a lot bigger, but uh, this is a good one. I'm pretty happy with it.